Right now we're at our memory research project. So in order to get to the project itself, uh, you need to make sure you take and pass the pre-project skirmish. When you take that, you'll see the project itself appear. The first thing you need to do is go and choose your memory option. Uh, basically, you're going to be presenting two different options of memory from the same manufacturer. So you only have to do one history. If you do Kingston memory, then uh, you'll need to do two sticks of Kingston memory. Uh, some definitions are right here on the choice itself. Fastest mean fastest compatible for your specific motherboard. Fastest non-OC means the fastest non-overclock memory for your specific motherboard. Cheapest means the least expensive compatible memory for your specific motherboard that you can find. Uh, and then home business and gamer means obviously your uh, from back in the motherboard presentations, your home motherboard, your business motherboard, or your gamer motherboard. So you're going to go down here and you're going to make your choice of your project. For instance, option number one says fastest home and cheapest gamer. So the fastest memory for your home motherboard and the cheapest for your gamer motherboard. Uh, some of these options are available, some of them are not. There will only be six available uh, when you guys come into this to make your choices but you get the idea. So first you make your choice and then you go back and take a look at the project itself. So the project is um, a short memory presentation that you're gonna give both on your memory manufacturer and the memory that you're bringing to us for your presentation. Again, you represent them, that manufacturer. So you're from Kingston or from Corsair or whatever memory manufacturer you choose. Uh, you're going to give us a background on the company, where the company headquarters is, um, a map of where the company headquarters is, a picture of the company headquarters if you can find it. Uh, and then you're going to get into the motherboard that you're giving us the presentation for. So that motherboard slide saying what kind of memory, the, for instance, if it's your home motherboard, what kind of memory your home motherboard takes. Um, and then... Uh, show us the memory that you're bringing to us. And you need to tell us about those things, those specifications specific to that motherboard. What's the bandwidth? What's the parity? Uh, is it ECC or non-ECC? How many channels does it support? Uh, what's the latency, the type, the generation, um, access time of it's given, basically the specifications for that memory. And I implore you, you can find it on Newegg as far as the price but I want you to go to the manufacturer's website to get the actual specifications on the memory. Uh, so you're gonna be doing that twice, once for one motherboard and stick of memory, and once for the other motherboard and that stick of memory. And then at the end, obviously, we do our standard question slide and an MLA slide at the end. The next thing down here that it's highlighted is how much memory we're talking about. Um, and I know these are some, some of them are higher than we talked about. Um, if you get a home motherboard, I expect you to show us eight gig of RAM, no more, no less, eight gig of RAM. If you're using your business motherboard, we're talking 16 gig of RAM. Uh, and we're saying you're a high-end gamer if it's a gamer motherboard, so we want 32 uh, gigabytes of RAM on that. So home eight, business 16, gamer 32 gigabytes of RAM. And by the way, that should be a big B, not a little B, because it's gigabytes, not gigabits. Um, I'll have to ch switch that. So no more, no less for the project. You have this class and one more class to do your research and get your project together. And the presentation will be the class after that. As always, if you're doing a Google Doc, go ahead and submit the Google Doc link uh, right away. If not, make sure you've got things submitted in time so you don't get any kind of a late penalty for the presentation. And that's our process today and the next class in computer hardware.